Hey guys, it's the Coda Noob coming at you, ready to solve another problem, which is what is the best free, and I mean literally and actually free screen recorder out there that you can use to record your screen? And to answer that question, I'm going to show you what I use. It's the same tool I use to stream and record my screen. Uh, stream games, uh, do live streaming. It's the same tool I use uh, when I want to export that video that I recorded into many different uh, platforms. It doesn't give me a watermark. It doesn't give me a time limit to record. I'm going to show that to you right and now. Alright, so to answer the question of what is the best uh, screen recorder out there, free screen recorder, I went ahead and I searched free screen recorder, and you see that right off the bat, you're going to get a whole bunch of other um, results here. Uh, if you're looking for something quick that is under 15 minutes every video, you can go ahead and try this one out. It's screencast-o.matics.com. It's really handy too. I actually have it to myself. It gives you a little thingy like this, web launcher recorder. And it's what I'm using to record this video because the one I record my videos with, I can't show it to you and use it at the same time if that makes sense. So I'm not using what I normally use that I'm going to show you right now. I'm using uh, this one right here. The only problem with this one right here, um, it is completely free, like they say, there's no watermark. The only problem is you do have a 15 minute uh, limit on your recording. And that's the only drawback. So this is something that I'll actually uh, consider it as a free alternative result, uh, alternative um, product if uh, 15 minutes it can do it for you. Now, on to what a actual free screen recorder slash streaming product is that I use. You guys might have already heard it. It's nothing mentioned in these videos, but it's absolutely free and it's super easy to set up. It's called OBS. All right, it's an open source application. Go ahead and click on the link obsproject.com and click download for Windows. I'm running Windows 10. That's what I would use to download mine. Once it's downloaded and you've gone through all these setups, I'll show you what happened. This window here should pop up and then another box should pop up uh, letting you know that um, how would you like it to set up for you? Would you like it for streaming and recording or really just customize it for recording only? So those are the two options you get to choose from. If you want to stream and record, or you're just going to be recording with it. For me, um, you can see I play some games here sometimes. So I chose to stream and record because I would record my gameplay or I might go uh, live online and then post that up on my other channel. As you can see while I'm talking, this meter is going up so it's, it's picking up my audio. But you can add in other audio source. Now I'll show you a quick rundown overview of how to set this up and get it working for you. So when yours load up, it should look just like this. So this scene here is, is, is default. You want to keep that where it is. But of course, you can add more if you want it to. And what this allows you to do is to create multiple like presets, you know. And what I mean is like in here in the source, I can, cho I can choose that I want to record. Uh, I want to record... I want to capture my gameplay. I want some sort of text on the screen. I want to put an image on the screen. Um, I want to capture any active window, which I, I have a folder here open, right? So let me show you what that what that would look like. Uh, active window, and I can you know give it a name whatever I want. Right now it's just my empty downloads folder, and uh, it's actually yeah here it is. Here's my downloads folder. So I can capture my downloads folder. And put it wherever I want in the recorded. I can also capture my. Uh, let's see. I can capture. Well, I don't have a browser open. Well, I can put.
put an image in here as well. Let's browse for an image. Um, I don't have really much on this computer. There we go. Right. So you can put your like logo, whatever it is, you know, in the corner of your screen, um, just like that. Um, I can choose. Okay, I, let me let me not capture my downloads folder. I remove it, and let me just capture my display. Right, this display or my other screen. So this is the screen that it's on. And it will give you that. Um, yeah. So it, if I chose that and I simply go over to another screen, you see, you you see what I mean, right? So let's put this capture um, my other screen so I'll just go ahead and double click on it to change it and voila so now it's just that my screen is being captured on top of my display I can bring this up to the top to make it go first right so then if I drag this over to my other monitor you can kind of see what I mean about um, capturing my other screen I have two monitors right so boom so while you're recording your, your stuff, you can have that going on. And of course, my little uh, logo down here, I can even use a webcam if I have one attached. I think I have my webcam attached, to be honest with you. It's just not pointing at me. So uh, video capturing device, this would be your webcam, give it a name. So it is just you know something that you can identify quickly as right in here. I'm going to leave it as the default name it gave it. And then, boom, there's my webcam, and it's pointing off into a, off into a distant. And again, you can minimize that, you can make it small, put it wherever you want to. So I got that, plus that, and it's, it's all layered. And I can record all of this easily. And if I like it, it's save under this scene preset. So if I go here now, I can have other presets set up where I'll be recording something else. And then here, another preset setup. So when I go back here, this is all there. You can you can just like toggle things off and on if you wanted to. This here is an amazing tool, super super amazing that I use to record my screen. And also, you can stream with it. Now you find tons of tutorials online of how to like set up your streaming because you need like um, usually like an API key or something like that. And I'm not going to go through that, but it's super, super easy. Let's check out the settings now. So with the settings, you can tell it. Um, and here is where you would go and just select from it. Oh, I'm recording with Twitch. I'm recording with YouTube, whatever it is. Um, and then it would ask you for like that streaming key. I said API key before, didn't I? <laughs> and you would just pop it in there. Um, usually in your settings on your YouTube or, or Twitch, there's an area where you would go get that key, pop it in there, and wow, it's it's done. You're set up. Even though I was referring to you guys to like check out other videos on that, <laughs> I just basically showed you how it's done. Um, in the general, uh, just the general settings here. But as for outputs, when you're streaming, you get your outputs here. When you're recording, you get your outputs here. Um, usually, you have to have like a certain uh, product to do uh, FL. Uh, when you output it to play it back, we can out, out FLV. Uh, what I like about it is that it's small, so uploading that video to YouTube is really, really quick. But if you're gonna like edit it before you upload it, just make sure your editor does support the FLV. Um, otherwise, you can go ahead and just you know MP4, uh, MKV, you know, just the standard stuff that most editors would uh, support. Then of course audio. Uh, the video quality, um, usually this is fine, the default stuff is fine, you can go ahead and change your frame rate if you want to. 30 is usually the best. And then you can set up hotkeys, so you can hit a key to just start recording and hit a key to just um, start or stop recording or start or stop streaming because uh, in some cases, right, uh, I'm going to hit cancel, I don't want to save it. Oops, cancel, I won't save anything. Um, in some cases, right, you would want to, you, you might only have one monitor, and so you would want to record, um, but you only have one screen, and you don't want this to be their 
monitor, so what would happen is, let's say I switch, pretend I have one monitor as my webcam. We'll turn off that. But let's say I only have one monitor, right? And when I hit record, you know, I would see this and then I have to quickly like minimize it or something like that, right? So let's say you don't want that to happen. Um, you don't want this to be in your shot at all. At that point, you just have a hotkey. Just have it minimized to begin with, and then boom, hit the hotkey and start recording. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. <laughs> hit the subscribe button and stuff and stuff and stuff and bell and notification and whatnot. Right? Anyways, that is it. This is the tool I use. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Um, just the fact that you can you can do so much. You can record so many elements at the same time. There is no time limit. There is no watermark that's going to pop up on your video when you're done. It's not uh, it's not intensive on your CPU. It's not going to hurt your computer. It doesn't take long to render out once you're done um, recording. Once you hit start record, what happens is that it's going to change to stop. You hit stop. Once you hit stop, it only takes about five seconds. I've never seen it take any longer to save out that video, even, even if that video is like an hour. And yes, you can do an hour, you can do two hours. It doesn't matter. And this is completely free. So despite all the other things you see out there on the internet, I'm telling you right now with your hands down, this is the best tool for you. Alright, just go to Google type uh, OBS and you will snatch it from there. Usually I'll leave a link in the description, but I know how some people feel about links sometimes. They're like, oh, it's an affiliate or this and that. Have a good one again. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. You know the spiel.